<clears throat> and then we will talk about job profiles. Now, this being an HCM uh, software, we need to create job profiles to be able to hire people, right? Every worker you hire needs to have a job profile. Now, what is a job profile? It describes what that worker is supposed to do, isn't it? Now, when you, whenever some recruiter calls you for a new job opportunity, you ask that person, okay, what is the job profile? What am I supposed to do in that job? Or what does this job require me to do? Don't we? Don't we ask them, what is the job profile that you are recruiting me for? What will be my responsibilities? So a job profile will talk about the generic features and characteristics of the job. And you can also create a position based on that job profile. Okay, so a job profile will contain details like, okay, what are the responsibilities, the tasks that this person needs to do, number one. It will also have details like, all right, what is the uh, qualification required, right? MBA or bachelor's degree or school degree. What are the certifications required? What are the skills required for this particular job? All of that will be put in this particular uh, object that is a job profile. Then we will talk about that another core concept is the compensation. This is the umbrella term for all the different things that we will talk about in compensation, like packages, grades, grade profiles, and plans. Anything within uh, re related to compensation, we will talk about in compensation. Now, let me ask you this. Is compensation given to employees only, or is it given to uh, contingent workers as well? employees only anyone who who is who thinks different or who thinks no even as contingent workers we get paid how are contingent workers paid then they are they are not paid directly by uh, the company where they are working as contingent workers right they are paid they are treated as suppliers right of of services so somebody who uh, uh, like they are typically employed by other organizations and they are sent as workers to this uh, company. They work there as a contingent worker or a short term worker. So a compensation is mostly for your it, it's typically for your employees. Now, there are different types of workers when we talk about that. They can be a fixed term employee as well right like i like an employee is hired only for a year that is a fixed term those type of employees are also there in some countries there are regular employees there are fixed term contracts and then there are contingent workers a contingent worker may work with a company for 10 years that is also possible it is not like contingent worker means only for six months or three months or two months it's, it's not like that a contingent worker may work for 10 years i have seen some contingent workers work for 15 years no issues right but so nowadays there is a lot of mix and a, 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 and then there is a new type of worker called as gig workers people who come in do their work and leave right like maybe uh, somebody who comes in to paint your office they know that their only task is to come in paint and leave they're a gig worker their only task is to do a gig like the gig workers are typically associated the gigs are typically associated with the musicians right so you perform a gig or they perform a gig so what what do they do they bring in their musical instruments set it up play for the evening and leave take their uh, payments and leave right they're not an employee of that place where they are they are uh, performing so similarly for gig workers so that is a new type of workers that are coming up so they will come in do their thing and leave so but anyway the compensation is something that is paid to employees only it can be salary it can be hourly hourly wages but compensation is only for your employees and not for contingent workers then another core concept is the security right we will talk about the security groups the group of users who need to have the same access like all managers need to have a similar kind of access right all hr administrators need to have a similar kind of access all hr partners 
or benefits partners, payroll administrators, they need to have a, a similar kind of access, right? So we will see how Workday's security system works, how we will group the users into security groups and how we will assign them some permissions, okay? So security is also a core concept of Workday HCM. And the last core concept is business process. Now business process is a sequence of one or more tasks that accomplishes a desired business objective, right? Like, like we discussed about, let's say the higher process. There will be a sequence of, of tasks that needs to happen before you hire a worker, right? So then, I mean, and all of these tasks will not be performed by the same person or the same group of person. It will be done by different groups of persons. So we will see how we can configure the business processes in Workday. Okay, so these are your six core concepts.